Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this bridge and said it's leaking. And even though it's a vector and it would probably cut out, uh, well, I see, I see one thing right now. If you cut this out, this piece is going to fall off the bridge. So you would need to take the virtual segment delete key and do, do that to make it continuous, contiguous. So we're just going to delete that. Now we're going to see if it leaks. I drew a rectangle around it in case it does leak. And we're going to grab the Smart Fill tool. And we're going to put it right in there. And you see it leaks. Easy, easy fix. Let's move the box out of the way for just a second. Let's grab it all. And you can't really see anything wrong with it right now. But if we go and grab the Shape tool, you can see a lot of double nodes. Like right there, those aren't probably joined. But instead of going through the whole thing, we're just going to join them all at the same time. So take the shape tool and select them where they turn solid. Go up to Windows, Dockers, and Join Curves. I've got mine set on 0 .02, which is really, really little. But watch what happens when I hit Apply. You can see the ones that changed. We'll bring our box back in. And the only reason I do that, so if it leaks outside, it won't, it'll just fill up the box and not your whole screen. And voila. Now, same thing here. If you're going to cut this out, these lines are going to go away too. If you just want that shape, and maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but um, see, we've got a, a node that right there that's not, Somehow connect it right there. You can see it. Just take the shape tool. And it won't really... See, that's further apart than my tolerance was. Or it will not uh, do the corner. See, that's... It's not. So it, it just has... Corel has a problem joining um, that aren't ends of a line. So I just bring that down. And then, because you got to think about um, when you cut things out, uh, what's going to fall apart. And we got the same thing going on right here. So let's just take the smart zoom in and move that node right on top of the other node. Then you can take the virtual segment. And this may be not what he wanted, but uh, I'm thinking this is what you want if you're going to make this bridge. Then fill it in, and there you go. Now, I would always take the Smart Fill away, and then left-click, right-click, and make sure it's a hairline, which is not. Make sure it's a hairline to cut out. That's a pretty cool uh, bridge for the one who drew it. But you got to think about if you have lines, uh, those pieces are going to fall apart. I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.